What's up mga kapot-kot? Mr. Kalakalir and welcome to the vlog. Alright guys, so for today's vlog, I'm gonna introduce to you yung ating additional bike or new bike for our lineup dito sa um, Kalakal Garage. And as you can see, um, nandito si Tomas, nandito si Felicia, nagpanood niya na yung mga videos ni Felicia. And dun pala sa mga nagtatanong, nandun yung iba mga bikes natin. Okay, so tatlo lang kasi pwede ko ilagay dito eh. Alright? Anyway guys, so without further ado, I'd like you to meet a new bike here sa ating munting collection. Meet Elsa. Boom! <laughs> so yan. Uh, you, fin you finally get to meet the new bike here, si Elsa. And uh, this is a Royal Enfield Classic 500-ish. So... Uh, on this video, I'm gonna give you a walk around and I'm gonna be um, illustrating the different uh, um, physical attributes of the bike and uh, on the next vlog, I'm gonna be showing you naman yung uh, initial feedback upon riding the bike, okay? So meanwhile, um, samahan nyo ako sa aking video na ito in 3, 2, 1... Okay guys, so you've seen the quick montage of the bike, itong si Elsa, and now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you a uh, thorough um, walk around the bike as I illustrate you the different components of it. So first off, ito pala si Elsa. Yan na siya. Okay, so I got this um, um, a day before Mother's Day. The, second Saturday or basta, basta a day before Mother's Day so it, it was a Mother's Day treat sa aking ina uh, kasi kinabukasan din nila ko sa cementerio pinasyala natin siya and pinakilala ko sa kanya si Elsa okay so pinili ko tong bike na to from a uh, fellow Royal Enfield uh, enthusiast so nag upgrade kasi siya nagpalit siya ng um, Interceptor 650 Isa yun sa mga dream bike natin na uh, sana eventually pag nakaipon tayo eh, makabili tayo ng ganung bike para kompleto na yung lineup natin ng RE, Himalayan, Classic, and the 650 or the Twin 650. Okay, so um, sa Mandaluyong ko siya nakuha and um, so far sariwa naman siya. That's why I took the opportunity to grab it kagad. Hindi ko na pinalagpas na ibang makakuha nito. Dahil ang tagal ko na naghahanap supposedly ng ganitong bike. Yung white ang kukunin ko sana noon nung lockdown. Pero since I cannot go to Tai Tai, hindi natin ma-pick up doon. So, naunahan tayo doon. And may maingay sa labas. Okay? So, the bike, as you can see, medyo Yan nga, it has the classic attributes or yung classic uh, uh, signature ng Royal Enfield. Which is yun nga, yung single cylinder, um, yung mga panels nyo na ganyan, uh, fat tank. I, I don't know if this will fall under a classic category or a cruiser category. Pero regardless, uh, this is the stock, almost the stock version or the stock uh, bike once you get a classic from the casa. 
So as we go along on this video, um, I'm gonna be showing you the different um, upgraded parts nung dating may ari, but the rest are all original. Okay? So let's start off with the front end of the bike. And sya. the front end has the uh, typical frosted headlight. So the, it's glass. And yung chrome trimmings niya na yan. Na I find it uh, very elegant. Kasi alam niyo, nabuhay niya yung, yung, yung with those chrome accents, nabuhay niya yung classic vibes ng motor. I don't know, ha? para sa akin lang. Okay. So, yung headlight niya, hindi lang siya basta naka-bracket na ganyan. Yung sa fork, meron siyang panel din ito, isang buong panel. And I believe it's metal. Mukha na metal or hard plastic. Ayun siya. So, hindi lang siya yung typical na yung mga old bikes natin na headlight bracket and naka-mount na sa headlight. So, ito, nakatago yung panels niya kaya malinis tingnan at hanggat maaari yung mga wires nasa loob. Ayan. Okay? Now, instead of yung typical fork boots naman, ito din. Okay, sorry at maingay alarm ng parking ha. Meron din cover yung panel niya. Itong white-white na to, ang hiling ko kasi wax yung bike. Hindi ko pa natututpigan. Ayan yung tinga-tinga ng mga wax. So, yun nga. Instead of uh, the typical fork boots, ito yung cover niya sa fork ng shafty niya. So, may illusion siya na parang uh, pag malayo, mukha siyang inverted fork. Kulang na lang itiming ko to para magmukhang inverted fork. Pero, like what I've said, I'm keeping this the way. Uh, yung looks nito, just the way it is para ma-preserve ko yung original uh, form niya. Hindi ko siya gagawin customize. Medyo customize na siya in a sense. Kasi may mga napalitan ng pyesa. So, for the front fender, kung mapapansin nyo, napakalawak din yung front fender niya. I mean, very bulky. Ayan. Ayan. This is my hand. Ayan. Mas malapad siya sa isang pack ng sigarilyo. <laughs> And hindi ko rin ko customize to Before, nakikita nyo yung mga bikes natin Tinatakis natin, tinatabas ko yung fender Pinapaliit ko or Basta, minomodify natin Para magmukong malaki yung gulong Now for this one, I'm not gonna be changing The tire spec sa harap Though, magpapalit tayo ng dual sport tire Or the Pirelli MT60 The stock one kasi is the MRF And medyo madulas siya Sa painted road Or yung loose gravel and we know the road conditions here in Manila, especially EDSA. So, yan, papalitan natin to ng 90 by 90 by 19. Then, yun nga, yung rim niya is 19 inch sa harap, then 18 inch sa likod. So, this brake na rin siya. Since this is a 2019 model, this brake na siya, pero na ABS pa. Okay? Yung top of the line niya sa yun, yung stealth black. Yung matte black nila na ganito, classic 500 yung uh, what do you call this yung naka ABS na okay so meron na rin siyang accessory na to fender plate so to have achieve that old school or classic vibes to the bike and the old or the previous owner already installed this uh, crash bar na simple lang vertical I mean horizontal bar lang siya na pa ganyan and uh, yun It, uh, matibay naman Ayoko lang testing yun, syempre. Uh, I don't wanna crash the bike, sayang naman. Diba? Uh, halos stuck pa eh. I mean, ito pa yung original condition niya eh. Yung paint and everything. And yun nga. Ang Royal Enfield guys are hand-painted. Hand so, ayan sya. Hindi sya yung sticker lang. These are hand-painted. So, ayan sya. Royal Enfield. Classic. So, Twin Spark EFI 500. So, matipid sa gas with kickstart. Okay. So, this is for the air filter. Uh, no. I think this one is for the cover for the filter. Try natin i-open. Ang dami niyang hidden compartment. So, if you open this one, and yun dyan nakatago yung air filter niya. Okay. 
kabila naman yung mga fuse niya nandun. Okay? The previous owner already upgraded the pipe. Naka wild bore exhaust na siya. Kaya malakas na yan. Mamaya paparinig ko sa inyo yung yung uh, sound check nung pipe na yan. And uh, as we move naman dito, anyway, this, so this is the tank. So, iba yung size nung tank niya. Yan. Pag titignan nyo yung side profile nung bike, malapad siya, pero hindi siya mataas. Okay. So, yung later models na, meron na rin tank pad. So, very effective yung tank pad kasi it lessens the, ano, yung pagkaskas ng binti natin. Talagang dito may contact tayo ng binti. And very helpful yan. Imagine nyo kung wala yan. Grabe yung gasgas sa mga maong natin. Okay. So, naka-upgrade na rin yung seats niya. Naka-bobber seat na rin siya. Yung manipis na seats. Um, mukha lang siya matigas. Pero this one, I feel uh, yung seating position ko dito is very comfortable. Dahil may spring na siya dito. May spring pa dito. Yung sa shocks niya. So, comfortable naman ako. I've been using this nung nag-C5 tayo, nag-heritage park tayo sa mother ko. Okay siya. Now, meron din siya multi-purpose rack dito. So, if ever na kailangan lagyan ng kalakal, pwede rin. Now, meron naman na bibiling accessory, original accessory ng Royal Enfield, na pwede mong lagyan ng upuan din dito para pag gusto mo mag-back ride. Yung original seats niya, triangle din na ganito, pero mataba. And may pillion din siya na seats dito for the, ano, Um, back ride okay now as we move at the back part this is the rear fender ganun din kung ano lapad ng harap ganun din siya kalapad sa likod now sa mga old bikes natin usually nagtatapas tayo ng fender para diba, magmukhang malaking gulong mapakita natin malaking gulong natin but then again I'm keeping the bike as it is uh, because I'm, I'm happy with the looks of it yung classic look niya. I like it just the way kung paano siya na-setup nung or dinesign ng Royal Enfield. These are all original accessories so it's all good. Okay? Hindi naman tayo masyado mag-aangkas or hindi naman tayo madalas mag-aangkas. So, okay na tong rack na to. Now, yung taillight niya. Ayan, may housing pa para nakatago yung mga wires and everything. So, taillight, signal lights na napakalaki. So, kasing laki niya ang Susi. Mas malaki pa siya sa susi. Pa siya sa susi. Okay. So, dito rin. Dito ako na nabago yung kadena niya. Nandito na sa kabilang side. Sa right side ng binti natin. I mean, right part of the bike. Na nasanay ako na nandito lagi ang kadena. Okay. So, ayan siya. Kadena. The bike also has a side stand and a center stand. So, madali mag maintain ng motor dito ko tuwan tuwa sa side sa niya eh, chrome eh. now for the engine naman wala na kasi akong autosol I used to have an autosol pang linis ko ng mga chrome mags ko na ng mga kotse pero ito ang pang linis daw ng mga RE, RE boys is autosol din so imagine nyo yung twin 650 na mas malaki pa dito Tak pa yung sticker niyan, medyo nag-peel off lang dito sa part na to. Pag pumunta ako ng kasa, papacheck uh, up ko rin to for PMS and doon ko rin papakabit yung tires ko. Yung likod, 18 inch, 110-90-18 pero I'm gonna be upgrading ito to Pirelli NT60 na uh, 120-90-18. Okay, so dito, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Dito yung isang compartment niya ng Uh, mga fuse. So, pwede nyo rin lagyan ng basahan, ng tools, and everything. Pasensya na at madumi. Ito pa yung mga bakas ng wax. Eh. Okay. So, dito naman yung uh, battery nya. Ayan sya. Okay. So, this is a almost an all metal bike. So, uh, the bike is heavy. Pero, not that heavy if you're gonna be comparing it to a twin interceptor 650. Okay. So ayan siya, handlebar was also, was also replaced with the, uh, 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 what do you call this, the handlebar ito, was also replaced with uh, a uh, bullet handlebar, so magkaiba yung bullet and classic, so mas relax yung 
position niya. Kumbaga, parang ka naka-fat bar yung, yung stance niya. Para siya naka-fat bar na. Pero, stuck ko ng bullet. Okay? So, wala, yung typical gauge niya, wala siyang um, RPM, wala siyang fuel gauge, and wala siyang gear indicator, neutral indicator lang meron. And by the way, the bike uh, has already 5,200 mileage on it, so not bad, pwede na. Yan pa yung mga bakas ng locks. Okay. So the good thing with this bike, it has a headlight switch with it. Uh, gusto mong yun, patay. Unlike sa Himalayan, as you turn on the ignition, bukas lahat ng mga ilong. Ito, may option kang patay. Okay, so let's Start up the bike and uh, let me give you a sound check. Mm, wild boar exhaust natin. So push start and kick start. Parehas meron tong bike na to. So start lang natin. Yeah. No? So warm up lang natin ng konti. Warm up lang natin ng konti yung bike. Bago natin bombay ng bombay. Pero yan siya. Yung tugit 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 Actually guys, if you're gonna be searching for the videos of Royal Enfield Bikes, I saw a um, documentary about it. That uh, this is likely an impractical machine or an impractical bike that is very addicting. I don't know. Medyo totoo. Kasi at the end of the day, after my ride, hinahanap ko yung pag-vibrate niya eh. Okay? Hinahanap ko yung pag-vibrate niya. Ma-illustrate ko yun sa inyo in the next video because I'm gonna be driving the bike with my POV camera and I'm gonna show you ano yung uh, flow niya as I ride it through giving you quick impressions of it. Alright, so here's the soundtrack of the bike. naririnig nyo rin vibration dito pero ayan <laughs> mabibrate yung bike na to pero honestly the vibration is very very addicting hindi ko ma-explain siguro I will just let you feel it so feel free to drop by din pala sa mga Royal Enfield uh, showroom we have one in Makati we have one in Cavite, Danghare and uh, I believe they, they also have in Cebu. So, pwede nyo i-test drive yung mga units nila so that mas ma-appreciate nyo yung appreciation na meron tayo sa bike na ito. But for me, this is the... Uh, I'm happy to have or I'm happy to acquire such bike because I get to uh, what? Experience uh, such heritage by the Royal Enfield community. You know? <laughs> Alright, so by the way, naka LED lights na rin to. Yeah. Okay. Um, sa mga nakakalam, I call it 500-ish. Y you know what I mean, guys. Sa community ng Royal Enfield, when I say 500-ish, you know what I mean. So, someday, or siguro once mag-normalize yung yung pandemic natin and medyo pwede na I'm gonna bring this extra sway pakita ko sa inyo how it performs ano yung cruising speed nya sa highway etc okay so yun lang naman and uh, siguro the next clip pakita ko sa inyo ano yung itsura pag uh, nakasakay na si rider I'm only 5'7 para uh, makita nyo if bagay ba sa height natin Pag uh, medyo mas maliit pa tayo sa 5.7, uh, pwede naman natin siyang papalitan ng rear shocks. Available din siya sa kasa. I believe it's 3,800 or 5,000 yung rear shocks nito na pang uh, mababa. So, yun lang yung difference niya. If you're gonna be upgrading your bikes, medyo it's gonna cost you na din kahit pa paano. Hindi na nakatulad ng mga old bikes natin o na ginagawa. Like this one. Hindi na siya katulad ng mga ganito. Pero, again, 
it's uh, para mas ma-appreciate yung sinasabi ko. Try visiting their showroom and you'll get what I mean. Okay? So, pakitaan, pakita ko lang sa inyo. I'm gonna drive the bike around this uh, dito sa parking lot and then, yun. Alright? in the video while I was riding the bike and um, I don't know if uh, nakit na appreciate nyo yung ganong clip and uh, you might be wondering how much is a Royal Enfield Classic for the Classic 500 the top of the line I believe is 329,000 pesos and for their Classic 350 the cheapest uh, uh, model is 196,000 pesos and for the gun metal grade it's 205,000 pesos okay so feel free to visit their showroom so that you can appreciate uh, um, upon uh, owning such bike and um, over the two happy ako na unti unti na natin silang tutupad the classic bike and the Himalayan from Royal Enfield then later on, we're gonna save up for the Interceptor 650. Okay, so I'm not showing you this video for me to brag uh, the bikes that I have. Again, if wala akong bikes na kinukuha, wala akong may papalabas sa inyong video. Okay, so I just hope that I was able to inspire you guys. Nakita niyo yung lineup natin before we started from the lowest of the lowest. Then, uh, unti unti natin, diba? If I can do it, you can also do it. So, it was not a crab mentality. Na, diba? Um, just gonna save up. You know, 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 together with the rest of the bikes that we have sa ating lineup ngayon. Okay? So, I guess I'll be ending the vlog from here. And once again, this is your boy, Mr. Kalakan. And I'll the back. Now signing off. Ciao. Whee! Good night, everyone. Ride safe. And God bless palagi. Peace. Babush. <laughs>